There are a ton of reasons to use your iPhone or your iPad to edit photos taken with your camera, but there have been a lot of hoops. The recent update from Adobe Lightroom, they removed some of them, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. What's going on everyone? Brian Matias here. So I've made many videos and written a lot of posts about why I love using Adobe Lightroom on my iPad Pro or my iPhone. Uh, I use it to sync every single photo I've ever taken. I edit my photos all the time uh, when I'm on the go. And just as a disclaimer, Adobe provides me with a subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud as well as 10 terabytes of storage. So thank you very much for that. But I am not paid one penny by them to do any of these videos. I'm doing them because I generally love these apps. So here's the thing, using mobile can be kind of, I don't know, a lot of hoops to jump through. And fortunately with a recent update to the Lightroom app on iOS, Adobe has cut a few of those hoops out specifically with how you get your photos from your SD card or your camera into Lightroom. Before this update, you have to first get your photos onto the camera roll on your device, and then you can bring them into Lightroom. The problem with that is if you didn't delete those photos from the camera roll after you imported them into Lightroom, you'd have duplicate files. It would take up even more space on your device and even doubly so if you're using other services like Google Photos or Amazon Photos. The latest update to Adobe Lightroom now brings support for Shortcuts, which is a new app that was introduced with iOS 12. It's actually super powerful. And I'm gonna walk you through how to create a shortcut to automate the import from your camera roll into Lightroom and delete those photos from that camera roll so that you don't have duplicates. The first thing you have to do is go to the app store on your device and download the shortcuts app. Then you're gonna launch it, then tap on the create shortcut button and start searching for import. You're gonna add the get last import action, which will take the last photos you imported from an SD card. Then type import again and add the import to Lightroom action. And then finally, delete. You can do things like customize the name. So you can type this, uh, call it LR photos and change the icon. You can also add an icon to your home screen to make it convenient. So just tap this and then hit add to home screen. Now that you created your shortcut, you can import your photos. So I have an SD card in the Apple USB-C reader for the iPad Pro. Just connect it and tap on the photos that you want to import. Tap import. I always click keep until I have several backups of the photos. So this won't delete them from uh, the SD card. Now you'll see if you go into the albums, you'll have those photos there. Now it's important to note that these are the raw photos. They're not JPEGs, I shoot in raw. So these are the actual full resolution raw photos from my camera. Now here's where the automation is really nice. Before I would have to manually copy over those photos into Lightroom that I just imported into the camera roll. And then I would have to make sure that I go back to that camera roll and delete those photos. And if it's one of those things where you know, you're in a rush and you just forget, you have duplicates. And again, it's duplicates of the raw, the full resolution, big fat files. Now all I need to do is tap on that shortcut that I created and then click delete when the screen pops up. What happened now is that the photos have been imported into Lightroom. All I need to do is go into Lightroom and then click on recently added. And there are my photos. You can see if I go into one of them, it shows that it's an actual raw file. And if I zoom in, I have all of that crazy detail uh, just from working on a full resolution raw file. The photos have been deleted, so I don't have to worry about duplicate syncs and taking up twice as much space on my device or in my cloud storage. And if you're one of the many people using Lightroom Classic CC to manage your photos and edit your photos, be sure to check out Nicole Young's blog post where she walks you through her process of migrating her photos from Lightroom CC to Classic. She recently spent three weeks traveling around Southeast Asia with just her iPad Pro, and she has an entire foolproof process of getting the photos from her camera to her iPad Pro, and then over to Lightroom Classic when she got home. Just click the link in the description to check it out. I'm very excited to see Adobe taking advantage of shortcuts, and I hope to see Apple add functionality to iOS to make mobile photography that much more functional compared to the desktop. If you've been on the fence with whether you should try mobile photography, especially if you're already paying for the Adobe Photography Bundle or the full Creative Cloud, 
definitely give this a try. Lightroom is a joy to use on the iPad or the iPhone. So let me know what you think. I mean, does this inclusion of using shortcuts and making that workflow a little bit smoother make it more likely for you to give it a shot? Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want more and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever a new one comes out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.